Rook, oh, this is exciting. Cameron tomorrow is going to be on Shuffle Up and Play, the professor's gameplay channel on Clarion Community College. You should go check it out. Yeah, make sure that you don't miss me, Jim from the Rules Committee, Rebel from the Commander Advisory Group, and Hire from Playing with Power, all playing some CEDH. <laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're back with our Universes Beyond Commanders to try to figure out which one is best in CEDH. So first up, we have Cameron on Will Lucas Luris Strange Nas. I'm playing Tier 1 Dalsum. Tyler's playing Marnius Control. And Nate's playing Abaddon Yidris Grixis. I'll keep this one. I think I'm going to try it out. This seems that equipped. Yeah, I'll keep this one. I have a pregame effect. Gemstone Caverns? Unfortunate that I have to pitch this very fun card, but Arasta of the Endless Web, I think it is correct <laughs> oh. for that card to go away. I'm going to draw for my first turn. Bloodstained Mire, cast a Mana Crypt, cast Arcane Signet, pass a turn. Draw card. Forest. I'm going to cast Suppression Field. Cool. Bloodstained Mire, just a heads up, is an activated ability. Hey, I would like to crack Bloodstained Mire in response. You got it. I'm going to go to 39. Dylan. Yes? You're an asshole. Do you have, do you I have also something? have a fetch and I'm Excellent. About it. That's it. I, that's all I have. Suppression Field is not a card that sees a ton of play, but getting it out into play very early can be a really good thing, especially if you get to go before a couple other opponents. Their fetch lines are completely dead then. Yeah, I'm really lucky that I'm able to actually get cards in play at this point. I will draw off return. I'm getting an underground C. I'm going to play a Snow Covered Island and then pass. Draw for turn. Play Badlands. Cast Mox Diamond, pitching a Wood of Foothills. Nice. And I'll cast a Talisman of Dominance. Talisman of Dominance on the stack. I'm going to Vamp Tutor. I'm going to respond and Mental Mist up that Vamp Tutor going to 38. I will pass a turn. This is actually pretty detrimental for me here. I was really hoping this was going to be able to get me Adnaws, but now I don't really have a good way to draw cards to get myself back into a good spot here. On my upkeep, we got heads. We're all good. Past a talisman of creativity. I can afford to move down a little bit. Pass the turn after that. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Rest in peace. Wow. Oh, rest in peace. Okay. Trigger. I think so. That's it. I am going to miss my land drop and pass turn. End step. I'm going to cast a brainstorm. I will draw three. Suppression field is a pretty interesting card right now. Yeah, it's it's fucking me pretty hard right now. Nice. Get these two back on top. Untap. Draw for turn. Play this marsh flats. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Pay one. Oh, Vampiric Tutor. Great. Get with me. Yep. I'm at 37. That's a card I want to get. That goes on top. Tap. Draw. Cast a Ristic Study. I will pass. On your end step, I'm going to cast Vanishing Verse, targeting the Rest in Peace, paying for Ristic Study. I have no effects. I like Rest in Peace here because I'm a Luris deck, and I would love to be able to have access to my graveyard later. Plus, now that I'm not trying to get to Ad Nauseam, Underworld Breach becomes a much more realistic win condition for me. And obviously, I want to keep Suppression Field around. I mean, look at what it's doing to Tyler. Good on my turn. Flips. That's a lose. I deserve it. Going down to 36. Draw a card. I guess I'll cast Will the Wise. Paying for Ristic Study with one floating. I will not investigate and lose one life to 39. All right, Tyler, would you like to investigate? I don't even have two mana to crack it, so no. <laughs> I'm going to go to 37. <laughs> you actually need four mana to crack it because of Suppression Field. Oh, that's right. And then I Nate, what about you? No, I will not. So I make one clue. My one clue. Lion's Eye Diamond, paying with my floating mana for Ristic Study. I will pass the turn after that. Untap, upkeep, draw a card. Nate, how many cards in your hand? Three. Uh, sorry, everyone. Cast Elvish Mystic. I draw a card. You can. Oh, no. Cast Esper Sentinel. Oh, no. I draw a card. Yes, you can. That's it. Pass turn. I've already missed my land drop once. I'm about to miss it again. Although giving Nate some cards off Ristic Study here is bad, I need to somehow progress my board state. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. Okay. Untap, draw. Pay two life, going down to 34. Cast to taxi and pro. S percent, no trigger. No, I'll pay it. Who's the target? I have three in hand. So do I. I have seven. Tyler, yeah. I'll DM you on Discord. Okay. I'll draw. Play my land for turn. I will pass the turn. On my upkeep, let's flip this shit again. I gotta lose. I'm at 33. Draw a card, land for turn, pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. Draw a card. Combat, I'll attack Nate for one. Go to 33. Jiranith Magistrate. May I draw a card? I'll pay for it so you don't. Pass turn? Draw for turn. Pass the turn. Oh, I'm sorry. I must discard. I'm going to discard this Yogg will. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Intuition. I would Wait. like to pay for both of your triggers. Nice. Thanks. That seems good. Nate, how many cards? Well, no, cards? it's not good because I have zero cards in my graveyard and Thanks. this is Granite Magistrate in play, so I still have a ways to go. The target is going to be you, Dylan. Dylan, you get to choose between Underworld Breach, Savine's Reclamation, and Ad Nauseam. I think it's best to give him Savine's Reclamation here, but I'm not sure. Tyler, you want to weigh in at all? 
I don't know. I, He's got I, no cards in his graveyard, so giving him breach really isn't that good. That's what I, I yeah, I feel like unless he's got he could he could have rain freeze in his hand because Tranith is still out. So if you give him breach, like it just does absolute nothing, it just does nothing. He has to have removal, yeah, yeah. I think that's probably the best one. Then I was just thinking Savine's reclamation because it's one more mana. How yeah. many cards do you have in your hand? I have two more. Best that you just give him breach, you think? Yeah, because then he gets less uses out of uh, Savine's reclamation if he gets rid of Tranith. Okay, yeah, I'll give you underworld breach. Great, go to my turn. We should also talk about why I did this. Normally, the third card I go for with Intuition is Lion's Eye Diamond, but I already have the LED in play. I also have the Brain Freeze in hand, which is normally the fourth card that I will go get. So at this point, I have a free slot kind of off of Intuition. But in hindsight, I feel like maybe I should have gotten a removal spell instead of the Ad Nauseam. I probably was still going to get the Underworld Breach, but at least it gives me access to a removal spell from somewhere in my deck. Yeah, I wonder if a card like the Blue Spell Bomb would be good in a situation like this because you can get it off of this intuition pile and flash it back with Savine's Reclamation. You wouldn't be able to flash back the Savine's Reclamation because of Dranith, but if you were given the Savine's Reclamation, you would be able to use it? Maybe. I don't know. On my upkeep, get a flip. It's a lose. Draw Soul Ring. S percent, I'll trigger. Pay for yeah, I draw. It. Pay for yeah. both. Pay for it. We're paying for both. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Yavamaya Hollow. Go to combat. Send two at Nate. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. I will in end step discard Grand Abolisher. Draw for off for turn <laughs> <laughs> for because i'm allowed to because it is the game cast lotus petal okay. nice percent on trigger nuts do you say you'll pass after that no i must have misheard you <laughs> <laughs> did you did you say concede <laughs> I, did, I heard you i heard you say concede actually yeah yeah that. must be wishful thinking i guess curiosity i'll cast even mind sensor in response may i draw a card you have it you have the mana no yeah no you can't up a. Okay. All right, top four. Good. It's the card I wanted. Shit. I'm really excited about the Mind Sensor because now if I get one more mana, I still can't crack the Mars Plus. <laughs> you good. That's going to be on top. This is the second time you've tutored this game now? Yeah, but one time I tutored the whole library and the second time I tutored top four. So. And then verbally said, that's the card I wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I was... I, I was, just want to make sure. I was sarcasm, but yes. <laughs> I'm joking. Go ahead. Let your end step. I would like to pay four to crack this flow. Hilarious. I love it. That's a rate that I am comfortable giving you. Here comes my coin flip to win. Draw for turn. All right, let's play a bum land. A let's bum land? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put this over here so that I don't crack it accidentally. I mean, you have so much mana, you can probably afford to crack it. Don't, don't trick me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast a preordain and then tap a mana crypt to pay for both of your thingamabobs. Scry two. I kind of don't like either of these. Bottom both. Draw a card. I can pay three mana to put Loris into my hand. Pass the turn. Untap. Yeah. Upkeep. Draw a card. I'm going to cast my commander. Dawson, pliable pacifist. You may draw a card. I will not pay. Go to combat. I'm going to attack Cameron with Avon Mind Sensor, Tyler with Esper Sentinel, and Nate with Dranith Magistrate. Oh my god, look at that value. Taking okay. 1 to 28. No bucks. Yes, please. I'll draw three cards off Dawson. Play Ursa Saga as my land for turn. Pass turn. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Discarding Ranger Captain Envious. Draw for turn. I'm putting Tyler on Force of Will, Force of Negation, <laughs> and uh, an offer you can't refuse. You could probably just ask Nate since he get proved me. Yeah, There's probably. no way Nate remembers. I have a, he texted me and I I do remember. What is it then? Prove it. So he has seven. He has windfall, force negation. You're that's actually all. gonna give them all this information? No, yeah. that's all I can remember. <laughs> but you have it written down. You said. Why would? You? Yeah, what I was doing. I'm not gonna look at it. Okay. All right. Okay. So you remember too. Okay. Fifty percent of the time, I get it right every time. I'll pass. Go to my turn. Get a draw. Play gemstone caverns. Cast a Luris. Hey, draw card. No. Pay for it this way. Pass. Unt Tap, upkeep, draw card. Main phase one, put a counter on Urza's Saga. Go to combat. I have Avid Mind Sensor at Cameron, Tranith Magistrate, Dalsum at Nate, and Esper Sentinel at Tyler. Dalsum trigger, untap it. I forgot my mana crypt. It's a lose, I deserve it. Three draws from Dalsum. A, a lot of fucking cards, holy shit. A lot of cards. <laughs> Dalsum is very similar to Timna. It's not a partner and it's a different mana combination. It does a little bit more, but it draws cards at basically the same rate Timna does. Three Three cards a turn can be very powerful, especially doing that twice in a row in a stack stack. I'm in a pretty good spot here. I wish I had access to my other commander, just ping your creatures down. Dranith Magistrate also pulling a lot of weight here, getting in before a lot of other commanders can get in. It's one of the main reasons why everyone is having a hard time rebuilding. 
Drannith Magistrate pulls a lot of weight. Magistrate pulls the weight. Ancient Tomb as my land for turn. Two life here, go to 37, cast Hope of Gearper, and I'll pay for Rhystic Study with the extra. Pass turn. Draw for turn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'll play an Arid Mesa. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play an underground suit. Go ahead. My turn. Play to win. Get a draw. Go to combat. Nate, I'm going to attack you with Luris. 23. I'll go back up to 26. And then I will pass the turn. End step. I'm going to flash in Cathar Commando. May I draw a card? I will pay so that you may not. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Counter on Urza Saga. I'll tap it for mana in response. And then go search. <laughs> I'm just going to get a soul ring. Lose another two life with Ancient Tomb going on to 35. Cast Archon of Valor's Reach, and I will pay for the Rhystic Study with my extra mana. I will Force of Will. Esper Sentinel Trigger. You, you can draw a card. You have hard casting Force of Will. Yep. It is countered. Okay, so we go to combat next. Hope of Gearper at Cameron. Dranith, Dalsum, and Avon Mind Sensor at Nate, and Esper Sentinel at Tyler. Trigger Dalsum, untap it. No blocks. No blocks. 25. 34. No blocks. I'll draw three. Wow, this deck is fucking nutso. I'm going to play play Gaia's Cradle as my land for turn. Oh, God. <laughs> for seven mana, cast Elder Gargaroth. May I draw? I will. It's for five mana, and then I will use one of the extra so that you may not. I'm going to cast Jewel Lotus, and I will pay for the Rhystic Study with the green mana extra that I have. I have seven cards in hand, so I will pass turn. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. And I will have to discard something. I'm going to discard this Wish Claw Talisman. All right, draw for turn. Cast Brainstorm. Um, S percent no sugar. No, you cannot draw. I will play Luxury Suite for my land for turn, and then I'll pass the turn. Here comes the Crypt to lose. We're down to 22. I did draw. Why didn't I attack with my Cathar Commando? Whoops. The Ball Ritual. That's percent melt trigger. I'd like to pay for each of them. Okay. So I have three black and one colorless. Use two of the black and this colorless to cast a Praetor's Grasp. Who's the target? Hey. Hold on. Let me look at everyone's deck list real quick. While you're doing that, I wish to lodge a complaint. Dylan. Yes. Why did you put a Spire of Industry in a 16 artifacts three color deck? Hmm. I think it wants an Urborg. That would be good right now, for sure. Yeah, that's why I'm feeling it acutely right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that would always feel good, but. Tyler, I'm going to tell you. Do you know you're looking at the top four? Oh, I am looking at the top four. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess I already did it. And are you paying one extra? Yeah. So we're searching the top four? Yep. Just the top four. You have some decent options, Cameron. And I'm very jealous of one of them. I would like to take the black card. Cast a Thassa's Oracle. May I draw a card? Yes. Enter the battlefield trigger on the stack. I'd like to hold priority, pay two mana, and cast the card that I got from Tyler, which is Tainted Pack. Nice. Pass. May I draw a card? Yes. I mean, I have to interact because I can. I'm not happy about it because I would love to just move on to the next game, but force that and I will pitch Muddle the Mixture. As percent on sugar. I will pay one. And may I draw a card? You may draw a card, Nate. I'm going to put Deflecting Swat onto the stack. Mystic Study may draw a card. Actually, at this point, I'm going to crack Lion's Eye Diamond, discarding Spell Pierce and Underworld Breach. Make three blue mana, and I'll use one of it so that you may not. You with me? Good with me. Cast my own tainted pact. Okay. S percent on trigger. I'll pay the one. Right. So, Force of Negation, pitching Mental Misstep. Damn. The SWAT. Okay. So SWAT is exiled. The Tainted Pact is exiled. And then I will look at the top two cards of my library, put up to one of them on top, which is none. I will pass the turn. We live to see tried. another day. Untap. Uh, okay. Draw a card. Go to combat. Hope of Gearper, Dranith Magistrate, Elder, Gargaroth, Cathar Commando, and Dalsum coming at Nate. Haven Mind Sensor coming at Cameron. Esper Sentinel coming at Tyler. And then Dalsum Trigger untaps. When this attacks, make a green beast. Sure. We're going to lightning bolt the Hope of Gearper. I have an Esper Sentinel Trigger. You may draw. Scary. Yes, that's okay. Down to eight. Dalsum, three triggers, draw three cards. City of Brass is land for turn. I'm going to tap Guy's Cradle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Outcast is Stone Coiled Circle. Serpent X equals eight. May I draw a card? I'm gonna uh, Stone Cold Serpent X equals seven. I will pay for the Rhystic Study. Cast Deafening Silence. May I draw a card? I'll pay for that with the Elvish Mystic. I'm gonna go to discard. Discarding Flump and Archimist of Agma. And that's it, Pastor. Draw. Uh, pass the turn. You cast Crater's Grasp, targeting Dylan. That's percent on sugar. You can draw. Same deal. Top four. These are your cards. Yes. Huh. 
Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. I got to pass. Let's get the coin flip. It's a win. It's a draw. Great. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Let's tap. Guy's Cradle for nine mana. Two of it on Destiny Spinner. Tap Soul Ring to pay for Rhystic Study. Play Horizon Canopy. Tap City Brass and Gemstone Caverns. Losing one life to 34 for two white mana. Two green floating. Cast Elish Norn. May I draw a card? Use the one from that Soul Ring that I tapped earlier to pay for that sure. Rhystic Study. When Will the Wise dies, I have a trigger. Dylan, would you like to investigate? Nope. Then lose one life. Tyler, would you like to investigate? Yes, I will investigate. Great. Nate, would you like to investigate? I would. Hooray. So I get to investigate three times. I'm going to combat. Green's going away. I'm going to attack nice. Nate with the Elder Gargaroth. Esper Sentinel is going to come at Tyler. I'll send what I believe is 29 coming at camera. Does the Stone Coil have Trample? Yes. It does have Trample. It has Reach Trample and Protection from Multicolored. And then when Dalsim attacks, it untaps. Stone Coil also untaps. When Elder Gargaroth attacks, I make a 3-3 beast. I'm going to crack a cloak four mana. Crack a clue. Um, yep. And that was also not swords to plowshares, so I will block the Cathar Command, though. I have declared zero blocks. I'm also going to declare zero blocks, but I'm going to cast the March of the Swirling Mists, exiling Swan Song, paying one to get three creatures, which would be Elder Gagoras, Dren's Magistry, the Commando. I have an Esper Sentinel trigger. Can I draw? No. I have response. I'm going to tap Ancient Tomb and Forest, losing two life from the Ancient Tomb, oh going to God. 31. Heroic oh. Intervention. Permanent I control gain Hexproof and Indestructible until end of May turn. May I draw a card? I'll use the extra from Ancient Tomb to pay for your Rhystic Study. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you got? What do you got? Swan Song, your uh, Heroic Intervention. Thank you. You are kidding me. May I draw a card? Can I draw off of Esper Sentinel? Uh, yes, you may. We both may draw? Yes. That is rather unfortunate. Heroic Intervention is countered. What's phasing out again? Dranith Magic Straight, Cathar Commando, and Elder Gargaroth? Yep. I will allow it. They're phased out. Combat damage. 12 plus 9. I still die. Oh, that's awesome. Was that, was that <laughs> counter a spite play then? I didn't realize I was still going to die. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I feel like that counter might have been a spite play. Maybe, but I don't, not, I don't care. It's okay. Now that you don't know that it wasn't a spite play, it was not a spite play. I died. <laughs> that's it. Past turn. For some reason, I was so certain that Elishnorn was in that pile and that there was no way that I was going to lose to this damage. Do math, people. And by people, I mean me. All right, I will draw for turn. And guess what? We get to play a spell. No way. What a time to be alive. Cast a soul ring. That's percent no trigger. Rhystic study. I am not paying for either. That's all. End of your turn, I'm going to sack my lotus petal for a green and cast my mystery card. Nature's claim. Deafening sounds. It is destroyed. I gain four life. Go up to 35. In your upkeep, I have effects. I'm going to lose a life off Horizon Canopy and cast Silence, paying for a Rhystic Study with Yavimai Hollow. I guess. One, two, three, four. Sack the clue. All cards? Sure. Good. Yep. Sure. Go for turn. Line for turn. Pass. Untap. When do things phase in? They phase in before you're untapped during your untap step. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast Shalai, Voice of Plenty. Go to combat. Nate, I'm going to attack you for seven. And then Tyler, I'm going to attack you with the rest. 31, 34. Yeah, I'll leave them out. I'm going to crack this March Flats that I've been sitting on since turn one because I just, it's the moral. Fail to find. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm dead. Cool. Win it with Good combat game. damage. Dalsum can be very powerful if you make it into the late game. Not much of my things were really interacted with. That rest in peace was gone pretty early, but with Dalsum, I was able to just co continue to refill my hand, get a lot of mana on board, get a lot of permanents on board that interact with my opponents in a favorable way and allow them to kind of negate each other. It was nice that we got to see Marnius in our previous game with these decks since it didn't really do anything today. Definitely a deck that I want to keep an eye on. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, the best way to do that is go to our Patreon, like our $50 patrons. Jason Perkins, Man Solo, I, your laptop scrolls the wrong way. It no, does. it scrolls the right way. No, it it's is the right, right way. It's the way that it scrolled way up until the iPhone was popularized. Jason Perkins, Man Solo, Nikola Marakovic, Roberto Ruiz, Steven Schlichty, Russ Helms, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, George Allen, Pedro, Jukai, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Depp, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Thomas Buno, 
Bono? Thomas Bono, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Jesus, Nocturnal Beaver, David Nelson, Vinnie Bianca, Jormags, Moxfields, and Baby Jeebus. Check out our Bonfire store for our t-shirt, sweatshirts, and all of our other Play to Win apparel. If you'd like to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Check out our Alter Saves affiliate down below as well for 5% off your order there. If you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product, you can do that at the affiliate link. And PlayToWinMTG.com has all of our Halloween merch. Get it just in time for Halloween itself. Thanks for watching. See you next week. I've been lying the whole time. <laughs> uh, see, that, 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 that was, was acting. acting. That, that was See, acting. what I did just there, that was acting. I've already missed... I've already missed my land drop once. I'm about to... I've already missed my land drop once. More like I have a will the wild to go. That was bad. Don't put that... Oh, God, that was bad.